Welcome to Demolition Ranch. I'm glad you're here. This episode is sponsored by World of Tanks. It's a super awesome game, and I want to tell you more about it right here. World of Tanks is a free-to-play team-based game with over 500 historically accurate tanks and over 150 million players worldwide. This game's pretty easy to learn, but it's super difficult to actually master it. The game rewards skillful gameplay. You get what you put into the game. It's daily missions and in-game activities keep me interested and coming back for more. If you're one of our viewers and you're signing up for a new account, use the code Demo Ranch. It is case-sensitive and all caps and you'll receive $20 of in-game goodies including a T14 premium American heavy tank, crew boosters, a free garage slot, and some extra modules for your tank. But keep in mind this only works for new accounts. Click the link in the description to redeem your code. Be sure to use my code Demo Ranch. It helps out what we do here and you get lots of good stuff. World of Tanks made this whole video possible so we greatly appreciate it. We are actually here today at Drive Tanks. This is a part of the Ox Ranch in Texas, right outside of Uvalde, Texas, and this place is crazy. Not only do they have pretty much every machine gun imaginable, A12, everything, fully auto. They have bigger guns as well. Oh, yeah, oh, those are nice. Oh, just, uh, you know, 20 millimeters sitting over here on the ground. Look at this magazine. Okay, just so in case you can't tell how big that is. This is my hand. That is a magazine. Like a year or two ago, I made a video where we were testing to see how much force, how much energy comes out of the muzzle brake of a rifle. And so this is a muzzle brake. It's a little bigger than all the muzzle brakes on my rifles. But what I did in that video is I put random things next to muzzle brakes. We put like a head of lettuce, I put a uh, paper towel roll over it, and it totally exploded them. Check it out right here. And ever since doing that video, and then coming out here to this Drive Tanks place and seeing how tanks fire and seeing the blast they have, I have been wondering what kind of force comes out of the side of a tank muzzle. So you can see to the side it has two giant ports. And when fired, it shoots a lot of energy out of there. I wanna see how much destructive force that has. Clear to start. Up here we have a Modus 50 BMG machine gun. Then we have three 1919s. Those are the 30 cal machine guns. the tank range and uh, they've had some fun out here let me show you how I know reason one reason two reason three reason four reason a bunch of other reasons also so you may notice Matt that gun safe looks just like yours it's usually sits out on your range it is we brought it I want to see if I can put a tank round all the way through this and I think I know the answer. Yeah, it's gotta, it's gotta go straight through that. So what I actually wanna see, what I'm testing, is when the tank round goes through this, which has a super thick 
front door, and I think it's gonna go through the front and the back. When it goes through the front and the back, will it knock this thing over? We don't have it stabilized, it's just sitting on some four by fours, but totally not stabilized. I think it's gonna knock it over. Some of the other guys here think it's just gonna go straight through because the round is going so fast that it's just gonna go punch a hole straight through like a laser. I think it's gonna knock it over. Place your bets below. We're gonna hit it with the tank round and see. That is one part of our experiment. The other part is this. This is the tank. Then we set a fridge right next to the muzzle. So this thing will fire around that way down at our gun safe and it will fire a muzzle blast out both sides. And what I'm trying to figure out is does the muzzle blast have enough energy to one, push this fridge backwards, knock it over, or two, does it, will it like dent the door in? Will it break the door off? I mean, it's it's all hitting right here on our mermaid fridge magnet right there. Came with the fridge, no big deal. We've got a pretty good deal on that. And three, the other option is will it do nothing? Will the fridge just kind of sway and, and do nothing? I think it's gonna own the fridge, knock it over, dent the door in. We have it set up. They're loading the tank. We're actually gonna fire it from behind the tank, just as a safer place. So I can't even see the end of that barrel. You guys won't see it from this angle either, but we have other angles on it. And uh, actually, I'm gonna set you guys up on a tripod over there so you guys can see it as well. I'm gonna pull this string right here. It's gonna fire the tank, explode the fridge to smithereens, and then pass through my safe. And I think it's gonna knock the safe over. That's my bet. All right, boys, here we go. They, just in case that fridge explodes, look up in the air. Fire, right, look up. Where are you gonna come? I'm gonna be right here. Okay. I'll look for it. So, watch. Alright, I think we're ready. Alright! Firing! Three, two, one! Oh, <laughs> 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 Alright, here we go. What happened? Oh my god. Yes! I knew it. I knew it. They didn't think it'd do anything. I told you. I told you. Oh my gosh. We need to flip this thing over and look at the inside. Oh, the ice maker might still be good, bro. This yeah. still could work. We could sell this. Oh, there's a hole in the front of that thing too. You see it? Oh, we'll go check that out in just a minute. I don't think we're going to find that mermaid. Can we roll this over? I want to see what the inside of this fridge looks like. Let's push it that way. That way? Yeah. The yeah. There we go. Oh, it's lighter than I thought. Yeah. Still could work. I feel like this could work. Little little maintenance man get in here and be perfect. And it's armor piercing, so it's it's designed to So when you say armor piercing, it's because they're made out of just solid yeah, steel. Yeah, solid solid steel and it has a great old guy. So that round is not an explosive round, it's an armor no, it's piercing not. round. And so it was going so fast, <laughs> blew a hole straight through there. It's actually got still got some dust coming out of here smoking. Jeez, look at that exit wound. <laughs> <laughs> Don't breathe that. Uh, that. That is that new? Yeah. That was, oh, that is new. It's hot. Something protruded. Out so of something when it came in here popped out the side over here. Man, came out of here, went through that truck bed right there, and then did it go in this minivan? Yeah, it went through the minivan. Went through the minivan. So that was kind of silly of me to think that it would ever stop, huh? It's probably about three foot, four yeah, foot. Yeah. Is that it? so? This is all new. Yeah, yeah. It's all new dirt. What? Wait, so this hole here wasn't here? Mm -mm. Holy cow. What do you call this, this little band? Uh, that's a drive band. Drive so band, and so this was smooth before, but the rifling of the it, barrel. 
Yeah, it, it was actually uh, oversized from the rifling, so that it's a it's a soft material like a brass, and it grabs those riflings and it really gotcha. grabs it. Then you have these areas which are just the bore riders. Gotcha. So that what does this thing weigh? That weighs 15 pounds. 15 pounds, and you can see because this thing is rifled, it was going like a football, spiraling like a football, going straight through, and it didn't start keyholing. It didn't try to go through sideways on any of these targets. So you can see right here, nice round circle. Exit wound, nice round circle, right there. It's kind of harder to tell there, but it's still going straight. And then over here where it hit this minivan, it was still going straight because if it was going sideways, it would not fit through this hole. So it went straight through there. All this dirt, it's all wet dirt because it hit that and threw dirt all over the minivan. So all of this darker dirt is new from that round hitting. Thanks again to World of Tanks for making this video possible. All the information is in the description below. We appreciate having sponsors like this so that we get to come out here and do crazy stuff like this. I like, as you guys know, doing like experimental kind of stuff and this is taking it to a whole new level. Like, you know, last time we just put tissue paper around like barrels of guns. Now we're putting fridges next to tanks. This is America. Thanks for watching Demolition Ranch. I love you and I'll see you next time. Contact! That's a great idea. <laughs> what about the quad hog? Bobby! I'm a doctor. Ish.